Hi, great to have you joining in. I'm Glenny D. Today we're having fun drawing Lego bricks. If you can draw all the different shaped Lego bricks, you can pretty much draw anything for art, design or engineering. As these short videos progress, you'll see just how easy it is to stack or add shapes together to represent your own design ideas. Let's begin by sliding the tip of the splat down to your starting point. Now we'll be trying to keep the splat straight up and down as we draw. Let's begin by placing a dot next to that corner and make this line as light as you can. We'll be darkening it in later. Do the same at the left. We've got two lines. Place the pencil on the mark that you made and we'll be sliding the splat so that the tip is now on that mark. And now we have an edge which is two splats long. Let's do the same thing on the left. Pencil on the dot, extend out to the left. Notice the splat still straight up and down. Hold your splat right there for a second. Take your pencil and place it in the little dent, or I call it a blip, and place a dot. Now use a ruler to join the dots and to complete the top of our prism. That looks great, you're doing an awesome job. Now we draw the four studs on top. First, find the original starting mark and place the tip of the splat on it. Trace around just the bottom half of the ellipse, just the bottom half. Good. Now find the two little blips and line those blips up with those two dots. Cool. Let's see how that looks. Once lined up, again trace the bottom half. Now for the third, find the right hand blip and line it up with the right hand dot. And the top half, just kidding, the bottom half. Good. Now the same on the left. The left blip lines up with the left dot and just the bottom half. Excellent. Now to mark off the height of the studs. So from the very bottom of each ellipse, mark off one centimeter or 10 millimeters. Great. Realign the ellipse onto the half ellipses that you drew. And when it's lined up, we're going to slide up to the 10 millimeter mark and then stop. This time we're marking in the whole ellipse and that's how we draw our stud. We've only got the sides. We can freehand those in or you could use a straight edge like the side of the splat to complete those. Great. And here's how it looks again. We're carefully lining up the splat. We're finding that 10 millimeter mark and then sliding the splat straight up and are drawing in the full ellipse. And here's your sides. Now, instead of guessing when I slide it up, this time I'm going to find something to slide it on. So line up the splat, find something with a straight edge and slide it straight up. You may find that easier, I'm not sure, but give it a go. And for the last stud, we'll use a piece of Lego and slide that straight up and mark it off. Great. Now you may find you've covered up some of the back lines. You may need to just um, erase those. So here we go. But then of course you'll find if you've erased your studs, then you may have to realign and just trace those in a little bit. Great. And at the front, um, if yours was a little bit uh, wonky the first time, then feel free to erase those and then firm those in. Firm in means to make them darker. Next, we give some thickness to our square prism. So we're uh, dropping down some lines. Let's go 15 millimeters down. So from each corner, drop a line down 15 millimeters and then simply join the dots. And I have a 3D object. This type of drawing is called isometric because both of the sides are sloping away. What if I wanted to add some lettering on top? Using some very light guidelines, again on the isometric or splat angle, I can letter in between. If your lettering doesn't fit, then make your guidelines a little closer together. 
So you can see that word is on the isometric slope. And even the letters go back in the other isometric direction. On this stud, let's try again. So we've got two guidelines on the right angle, and on the left angle is another guideline that I'll use for my letter L. To add dimensions to your drawing, here's how it works. First we use extension lines, and then a dimension line, and then we place our lettering on top. This is 3.2 millimetres high, and the height of the stud is 2 millimetres. To show how wide a circle is, we draw a dimension line through it with arrowheads, and we finish the top of it off with a little horizontal line, and this symbol means measuring a circle from one side to the other. It's called diameter. So that is round about diameter 4.9 on a standard Lego. Imagine this prism divided into four pieces, while the studs would be in the centre of each. You could trace over your drawing neatly with a very sharp black pencil, or a felt tip if you're very confident. Next it's time to render. That means to colour in a 3D object to make it look more 3D. So I'm using my darkest shade on the top. It's called a number three value and a number two on the side, and the lightest one facing towards you is called the number one. To make it look interesting, let's add a little um, bit of reflections. I'm using a piece of paper as a mask. Notice there's a bright area on each of the studs that's also facing the left-hand side. Let's try and make it even brighter by adding a little bit of white pencil to it. The corners that are folding out or coming towards you actually should be white, and the corners that are folding away from you, like the outline, will receive a darker line. Neatly cut your drawing out with scissors, and also cut out a background. Here I've made a squiggle. Now I just need to mark out a nice rectangle and cut out my background as well. I'm going to layer my object on top of my background because it helps make it uh, look as if it's coming forwards towards you once it's overlapped. Don't place it right in the middle. Move it to one side or the other and down a little bit so it's partly on and partly off. That looks fairly good. Let's go with that. So awesome. Don't worry uh, too much about the rendering at this stage. We'll get lots of practice as we go through the video series. It's been so much fun drawing along with you today. Thanks for joining in. I'm Glennie D. I'll see you video two. Bye for now.